Hi everyone, uh, this is the, I don't know how many times I've actually played the demo, but I think it's like a fifth time when I'm actually playing a demo of Grounded. And each time I'm actually uh, discovering uh, new things, and uh, this is just so much fun. And in this, by the way, in this um, gameplay, you can actually see I'm discovering new things to uh, craft, uh, including the workbench, which is required to some of the items which uh, you want to craft. And I thought that this is actually the workbench, but it's not. You actually need to have some items um, and analyze them in order to uh, be able to craft the workbench. Now another cool thing is that you can actually construct different buildings that allow you, for example, for storage, storing different items, some for respawn that allows you to respawn at certain points. Uh, you can uh, craft some defensive buildings that allow you to hide, uh, for example, when you're at night. Uh, although I found out that there's some areas which you can actually hide when you're think like you're being attacked, for example, like uh, uh, drinky cans, uh, which I'm going to show you just a bit later. Now at this point, something actually ran after me like a big bug, and I just wanted to hide because I didn't craft any weapon at this point. And then I found uh, this thing. What I told you, a can. And because you are very small, the size of an ant, you can actually hide in this type of things. And then this dude just couldn't get in. It's kind of funny. So of course I told myself, all right, just gonna throw rocks at it. And actually you can do this, but if you really want to beat it, uh, you need to craft some weapons, something more powerful. Now that's what I did. I just crafted uh, this uh, spear, tablet spear. I had the materials, which is great. And I can just stand there and attack it. And by the way, this one uh, is kind of ability, you see, gas, uh, which is really cool. Uh, and if you want to protect yourself, I have also discovered that you can actually use uh, a gas mask. Again, another item uh, which you can craft that probably will protect you against it. And by the way, there are some areas uh, on this, um, I said map, uh, in, the back, in this backyard, which actually have gas all over. So if you really want to explore them without actually getting hit or losing health and eventually dying, uh, you need to craft this gas mask. Now here I'm just uh, hitting this dude. Uh, and again, I'm just afraid of getting, you see the health uh, at the left side, it's a red one bar. So actually very, very low. And I thought at this point that I might eat something and maybe I can uh, get my health back, but I actually need to craft something specifically for healing. Uh, and I, I couldn't just get it because I don't have the right materials, but I can just eat mushrooms and heal. Uh, some items can be consumed, but this is just for the hunger, so you won't get hungry. Again, it's a survival game, so sometimes you need to eat, you know, but you survive. Uh, so those, for example, like the mushrooms, probably other items are used for just uh, heating, so you won't get hungry. And you don't, won't die from hunger. Now you have discovered what I think it's a bug. It's a buggy bug. <laughs> uh, again, this is uh, probably software, keep this in mind. So you see, I have this tank bug, I'm just eliminating him. And then, as you can see, uh, it gets to full health again. So I guess this is a uh, bug. Uh, I don't think there were two overlays of this the same uh, bug. So again, I continue just hitting it. Yeah, so I continue to uh, hit this uh, bug and eventually I was able to uh, uh, eliminate it. I took the materials and discovered those new things to uh, craft, uh, which is cool. And uh, just keep in mind, there's a stamina bar on the left side, the blue one, um, the opposite of the red is in the left side. Uh, so you can't just hit fast all the time. Stamina just go down and then you need to wait for it to recharge in order to uh, continue hitting faster with your weapon. Now this is clay. The first time I think I'm coming across this one. Uh, uh, but I didn't craft uh, my um, pickaxe. Uh, not pickaxe, the hammer I think, yeah. Uh, I didn't have the right material. So eventually I just skip it, but uh, I didn't come across this this often. So the clay is probably a, a more rare material. But if you come across it, uh, of course, uh, you're going to get it. And it will unlock more items which you can craft. Uh, and you think if you analyze it, even more items. Now here you can see the anchor meter at the top. I'm eating, so it replenishes. It's in the health one. The health is really low, as you can see. That's why it's flashing. It's alerting me that I'm very low on health. Now eventually I died from it, but of course I continued on. Uh, as you can see, this is just a beautiful game. Just look at this. Look at the lighting. Gorgeous, just gorgeous and the beautiful shallow depth of field effect. It's just amazing. This is really such a beautiful game. By the way, I thought that I can actually change the uh, uh, shallow depth of field uh, you know, to make it less prominent. But no, you can't. It's actually just the field of view. So the uh, depth of field is something fixed. Anyway, nothing to change about it, it just looks beautiful. And because it's kind of have a, uh, because you can't
can see a lot of things forward. Uh, the drawing distance is kind of, you know, uh, kind of things are blurred, which is really nice because you don't know what to expect. And it kind of creates tension as you go, so it's really cool. And uh, and this just helps separate, of course, the foreground from background objects, so you really feel kind of the environment, which is really good. Now there is some really cool key items uh, which I haven't played a lot with, and tutorials and other. This is so many things to do straight from the get go. Uh, but I don't know about everything. I'm just keep discovering each time I play. Now this one just blew away, probably an exploder bug, <laughs> want to suicide on me, anyway I don't know, maybe it fell from above, I don't know, but again, uh, more materials and of course more materials, more cool items to craft. And yes, you can craft weapons and really cool armor items by the way, this is the gas mask, which can protect you from the gas, from certain bugs, this is an ant helmet, look at this, give you uh, more defense as you can see, uh, another chest piece crazy huh uh, and leggings now there's another cool thing that I want you to see because it's sometimes you don't see where the big uh, bugs are you can actually notice this if you notice the leaves so the leaves actually move when a bug big bug actually passing through it and this is really cool and sometimes we have items uh, materials actually on top of the leaves at the top you can actually see it unless you look up and as you can see, when this bug actually moves, it just moves the leaves. So you can actually see when it really, maybe something more threatening in there. And this is uh, water there, as you can see. So in order to get it, I just need to uh, hit it with my uh, axe. And then I can get this material. It just fall into the ground and I can pick it up. And this water slope I actually needed for quite a few of the items that I wanted to craft. But I didn't come across them quite frequently. So again, instead of just looking at the ground, uh, you probably should also looking up, and maybe you're gonna find some. And then I thought it just disappeared, but eventually it was there on the floor. But the things I'm picking up right now, as you can see, uh, I can't actually use anything. I can unload it. Uh, or just throw it away but there are some items we can craft and you can use it kind of a place of storage to store those items you can just wreck it up there and use it when you want to so it's really cool uh, I didn't craft this tip uh, this type of uh, storage uh, item uh, but of course I'm gonna do this maybe in uh, other videos when I just focus on that thing now I want to show you something really amazing that happened today an ant came, uh, came to me and uh, uh, it was very friendly, kind of trying to communicate, and I thought, wow, you can actually communicate, so I just followed it, and I said, wow, it's going to lead me somewhere, maybe there's something special, and I mean, I think that's the thing, I just follow her, uh, and by the way, somebody on YouTube told me that you can actually lead you so to source of food and other stuff, so I thought, wow, this is great, so sometimes, you know, there's so many things to discover, and uh, maybe you following this ant will actually lead me to find some rare stuff. Uh, I was really excited, uh, but things turned out to be a bit different than I thought. So instead of finding food, I found something else that I'm going to be the food. Take a look. So the ant actually led me to a spider. Now I don't think it was in purpose because I don't think the ant knew that the spider is going to be there. But I felt like I was betrayed. I was following it and then it led me to, to a big big spider and of course I can't beat the spider. It's just gonna eliminate me in one shot, uh, one hit. And I was kind of angry and I told the ant, why did you do this? We have a trust between us. And there's something on the ground, I saw something on the ground, uh, I don't know what it is, I couldn't take it, but I was attacked by the spider, so I need to run away. So, so many things happen, so many discoveries and cool stuff, and, and friendly ants, uh, if you can call it friendly. Wow, but of course I just couldn't stand against the spider, although there are really cool things happening at the section, I needed to just run away. And as you can see, the music just, you know, kind of changed to be more dramatic uh, as you are in combat. So when you enter combat, you can hear the music. So you know there's something after you, something bad. 
So again, this is something, probably one of the things that I was very excited to see. Uh, both uh, seeing actually uh, ants being friendly and leading you towards a certain location uh, in the backyard. And the other thing, seeing this thing underground, crawling, whatever it is. And I just couldn't get it. You know, maybe I should follow it. Uh, maybe I see the entrance area or maybe I should have a certain item that allows me to actually capture it. Here you can see me crafting uh, the lean to, and this is kind of a place where you can respawn on it when you die, uh, which is cool. And you just need to tap it and just press E afterwards in order to craft it. But for some reason, when I died after this and it happened, I didn't spawn there. Maybe I, don't know, maybe I forgot to do something. I don't know. Anyway, I continue to explore the place, and there are so many dangers. Uh, you know, we will always want to discover new things, and. Uh, but some areas are actually, I don't know if they are guarded by uh, big enemies, uh, enemies, <laughs> spiders and other uh, threatening uh, bugs. Uh, maybe just you I was unlucky and it's just hanging around. Here I thought I'd discover eggs, bird eggs, but I forgot that I'm very, very small. And these are ice caps. These are no eggs. Kind of funny when you discover this. I don't know if you can actually break it and get it and use it as materials. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I continued on. And the moment I thought I was far away from the base, base, uh, you know, this place where I started. Actually, I was so close to it. So I actually was running in circles. By the way, you can actually you look at the map and see where you are. I just wasn't looking. So when I just came across uh, the place, I thought, oh, well. I was just circling all around the same area all the time. Now the cool thing about this game is I don't know how big actually the yard is, but it's packed with all kind of great things to see, discover, and lots of items, uh, and many cool and unique bugs. And I'm sure there are so many other surprises that I haven't discovered just yet, of course. Uh, but uh, you know, just kind of a uh, just enjoy exploring the area and just uh, and just a beautiful place uh, to explore okay. and it's not linear you just can go anywhere you want and just discover new things and I like the idea that it's not linear here you can see me analyzing different items again uh, when you analyze different items you might uh, get uh, to find out different um, here you see the workbench new recipe this is actually the recipe that uh, I was needed to craft other items. So this is very important. So I just need to craft this item. I forgot the name, which was displayed. Anyway, I need to craft this one in order to find the workbench. But again, the more you analyze, the more stuff you see. Not always you find new stuff. Sometimes I analyze an item and I find out about a recipe which I already know. Now keep in mind, uh, there is a day night cycles here and at night it's more dangerous uh, so uh, that's why you can actually sleep in one of the places you can craft and just start out the next day I haven't tried it but that's what I read in terms of the information uh, presented me in the game uh, so if you're going to uh, explore things at the night it's probably be more dangerous but I think it's only, it can also be more rewarding the question is whether you should do this when you start playing the game or you know you just don't have lots of uh, defense and uh, good weapons or, but of course I just wanted to explore everything when I start playing this. Now like the idea that I know when I get hit and I'm actually getting hit right now. Uh, it weren't the ants by the way it was kind of a flying thing this thing so I was able to get it eventually and this is one is annoying. And I'm using the spear in order to fight it. As you can see, the health bar. Now it's done. And of course, I get more materials, which I can use to analyze and craft new things. For some reason, I felt like attacking the ants. I don't know why. But I realized when I first played the game, when, when I attack the ants, the other ants of the same kind will actually attack me back, even, even if it's a few minutes after. And when I didn't attack those, uh, they didn't attack me at all. Uh, one game, I just didn't attack the ants, and the ants were very friendly. Except that one that led me to the spider. And of course, I continue playing a bit more. Uh, I didn't have a lot of time, as you can see at the top. One minute, uh, one minute and 30 seconds. And the thing is that when you are small, there are some items you don't recognize first. But after you just, you know, what is this one? And once you climb on it and get a bit further, and that's the thing about the Shadow Death of Felt, you start realizing what this item is. 
And as you can see, this is a rake. <laughs> Believe it or not, it just looks like kind of, I don't know. And again, you are very, very small, size of an ant. So as you can see, the more I play, the more things I discover, and it's so much fun. Grounded is really amazing game, and I can't wait to play the full game once it is released. Again, this is a demo version, a pre-release version, so if you see some bugs, visual uh, kind of anomalies, everything uh, that is out of the ordinary seem bug, keep in mind this is a pre-release <laughs> version. So again, thanks for watching everyone, i see you in the next video. Bye bye, cheers.